Camel guide Hassan Hefnawi Abdel Maksud is wondering how he is going to feed his family. His income has disappeared. There is no work at all. People who used to come do not come anymore. The pyramids were closed and now they reopened, but no one comes. The recent uprising in Egypt started January 25th, prompting thousands of foreign visitors to flee the country. And they have not returned. The only visitors these days are locals. Many souvenir shops are shut. Egypt's central bank expects the economy to lose up to $1.5 billion this year. Abdel Maksud wonders if he will be able to find other work. When there are no tourists, there is no income for me. And when there is no income for me, there is no money to feed the camel. I do not know how I will feed my children and the camel. This tour company in Cairo had all of its bookings cancelled for February and March. Still, owner Sami Ghanem sees good days ahead. In the incoming number of tourists to Egypt, um, will, I think will increase uh, due to a lot of factors, which is uh, not just to see the pyramids and the Red Sea, uh, people wanted to meet the Egyptian people who started a great revolution. For now, these images are keeping foreigners away. Abdel Maksud and his camel are idle, and he wonders what he is going to do until the foreigners and their cash return. I had some money saved, but I spent it. What shall I do? Steal? I have no money for myself to support my family or the camel. Let us be patient until this crisis passes. Until then, the local tourist guide association held a pep rally to keep spirits up and raise hopes that better days will come soon. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Cairo.